blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. I've been wanting to say this shit to y'all for years, respectfully, to the black Hebrew Israelites. What purpose do y'all serve, bro? Every time I see you niggas, y'all standing on street corners, dressed like superheroes and barbarians, just yelling at people. All y'all want to do is no shit? What purpose do that serve? Y'all don't got no money. Every time I see y'all, y'all on a corner somewhere, freezing or sweating. Y'all ain't got no building. Y'all don't make no bread. Y'all contribute shit, but to cause con confusion and disruption amongst people. Y'all don't help nobody, bro. Dead ass. Bunch, bunch of fucking angry black men trying to find their way. Won't y'all go get a job, son? Huh? Won't y'all find a way to bring some money to your organization so y'all can help people? Only thing I see you niggas do is yell at people and insult people. Y'all don't contribute shit to society. Now, nigga, you got spikes on your fucking wrist and you got a turbaned cape. I'm supposed to listen to you, son? Fuck out of here, man. Y'all niggas look like a 70s street gang. That shit is nasty work, son. I can't stand you niggas. Respectfully. I don't give a fuck how much you know, nigga. I just want to know shit. My kids can't eat no books, nigga. Get some money. Broke ass, angry niggas, man. Y'all get on my nerves. Pretty much we can't upload videos on YouTube anymore. And that's pretty much where it's going. You know, uh, you know, Esau is going to put out that, uh, pretty much uh, put out that um, order. No more, of the, you know, no more vi videos. Uh, uh, deal, uh, no more teaching dealing with the Bible as we get closer and closer to the so-called New World Order. One of the things they want to banish is the teaching of the Bible the true teaching of the Bible. So, you know, that ties in with the scripture uh, where it speaks about the famine of the word of the Lord. You know, definitely a famine of the word of the Lord is coming. So that's why, beginning with Elder Apostle on down, we tell you brothers and your few sisters out there that watch these videos to take these videos seriously. These videos are not for entertainment. They're really for enlightenment. They're really to uh, build up your knowledge and build up your faith for the times that are to come and speaking of the times that are to come um, these uh, top banking families uh, they they got an agenda man and that agenda is the so-called new world order which is really the agenda of the heavenly father on the left hand side but we know that that agenda is not going to stand the heavenly father is going to cause his right hand to triumph over his left hand his left hand uh, who's his right hand or who represents his right hand? Yahweh Shai. Even, uh, even as I speak, Yahweh Shai, in, in, in the spirit world, Yahweh Shai, uh, sometimes he stands, sometimes he sits at the right hand side of the Father. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, glory, and power to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth which consists of men, women, and children, starting with 144,000. My name is Amuan Gabar, and I'm back with another lesson, Lord willing, is edifying, quick, straight, and to the point. And the video you've seen in the introduction was um, uploaded by the brother Yashalam from the New York main camp. All right, GMS Watchman, I'll post his channel in the description of this video. So you can go subscribe to him if you have not already to be edified. All right. 
So he um uploaded this video of I forget this guy's name. His videos used to pop up on my feed on YouTube a lot. Haven't watched his videos in, in, in a while. You know, he pretty much a damn, he's a coon. He's a nigga, two third. What more can I say? You know, I don't even know what to call him, a social media influencer or whatever. I forget his name, it does not matter and I don't care, all right? But apes and gorillas and, and, and niggas like this, when that time come, when them, these jigaboo niggas, when that time come and Yahweh, where Yahweh Shai begins to bring judgment on this planet Earth, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be niggas like these that are going to get it, you know? And to be honest with you, shit like this don't even upset us. I mean, it doesn't upset me. Niggas got to play their lot. Jake got to play their lot. They got to play their lot. They got to play their role, you know, in whom, you know, in which the Lord have created them to play. The scriptures say they are for the sword, for the sword, and to death, for death. Well, that's, that's individuals like this. Some people were just created to scoff and mock, to fulfill prophecy, biblical prophecy. And we have a prime example of this guy right here. Some of you probably know who he is, some may not. It doesn't matter. He does not matter. All right? The only thing that matters is this truth. The truth of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. And you heard everything he said. You know? Niggas ain't got buildings. Niggas stand out there looking stupid in the cold. Always yelling. Ain't got no money. Ain't getting this. First of all, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes as far as what we do in our daily lives. From outside looking in, you have no clue what the Hebrew Israelites do. You know what I'm saying? Brothers, men have jobs, have families, have careers, all right? Have businesses. And you will never know. The world will never know because we don't we do not put that in the forefront because that does not matter. That does not matter. The only thing that matters is this truth. And I'm speaking on behalf of brothers I know. Brothers have these things, but it does not matter. The world don't need to see it because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that this dollar that these niggas praise, the cream, the cash rule, everything around me. All right, all that is about to come crumbling down. And what? What a guy? What men like this? What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? I'm gonna show you what they're gonna do. I'm gonna tell you according to the scriptures, just a few things what they're gonna do. You know, and <clears throat> Saturday, yesterday, camp, the spirit of going into judgment was just on me and and you know just speaking on how the lord is going to bring judgment and just just no mercy for these niggas and niggerettes because that's the times that that are approaching crucial crucial judgment harsh judgment painful judgment is coming to the two-thirds of the nation of israel for their disobedience all right and what i'm gonna do i got a few scriptures that i thought of and also, I'm going to go to the Brother Yashalam's page and grab a few scriptures from the comment board, from his comment board that brothers put up. Some good scriptures. All right. And before I do that, he got he got right here, as you see in the, um, the thumbnail that he created. Amos 5, verse 10 at the top left corner it says, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate. And they hate us. Why? Because they hated Yahweh Shai. That's why they hate us. They don't know us, but they hate us. This guy hate us, you know, many more. They they all hate us. And you know what the beauty is that real soon, I think I think that's when I'm gonna title the video, Lord Willing, that soon we won't be able to upload on YouTube. And that that's the famine of the word, of course, but it goes even more. It's gonna lead to desperate times, desperate measures, desperate everything, because these people are gonna be searching for the word. They're gonna feel real stupid because these prophets that they've been mocking and talking shit about. They know, they know that these, this is what the man was talking about. When the devil, because the scripture said the devil's going to come down with great wrath. When the so-called white man starts showing his horns and, and these niggas realize that their, their daddy Esau wasn't fucking with them. He wasn't with them to begin with. That's when they can realize, yo, them niggas on the street corner, they was right. You know, them, them niggas with the spike bands and, and, the, and, 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 you know, no, no, no. With the dusty garments, they were right the whole time. Yeah, the motherfucker, we was right the whole time because we followed the guidelines, man. We, we stuck to the script. And we believed in this thing. We believe in this thing. They hate them that rebuketh in the gate. That's cool. Because the Lord hates you too. Matthew 12 verse 36. The brother also put up. I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak. They shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Judgment is coming. 
All right, judgment is getting ready to go down like the scriptures say. Judgment shall begin at the house of the Most High first. If it begins at us, how much more of them that obey not the gospel, which is the two thirds? All right, and then trickle down to these heathens, but really the two thirds. They don't obey. They they commanded to obey, but they do not obey. So every idle word, you gonna have to you gonna have to own up to what he said. You know, talking about I've been waiting to say this for a long time. Well, what the fuck was stopping you? Showing you that we getting close and close to the end because if anything, the nigga should have said, yo, them dudes in the corner, it was actually right. But it just shows that no matter what, no matter what individuals see, what type of signs, what type of prophetic events they see, that if they they part of two thirds, they're going to always be part of two thirds. And that's just that. That's just that. So every idle word. All right, you also put up Jeremiah 11 and verse 14. Therefore, pray thou, pray not thou for this people. We do not pray for the two-thirds. We don't sit there and, and go into deep prayer or prayer period. Talking about, Lord, please have mercy on the whole house of Israel. We understand that all Israel shall be saved. Of course, like I said, in Romans, but also in Zechariah, two-thirds got to be cut off. You know, we, we the two-thirds, all Israel is going to be saved in the kingdom to come. They go, All Israelites are going to be in the kingdom. All right, and they're going to be in their right state of mind, every last single Israelite. But before that, and that's outside of our prayers. Our prayer have no control over that because that's destined to happen. It's going to happen whether you pray for it or not. But as far, but as, far as the two-thirds, don't pray for them because they're destined to be destroyed. So to hell with two-thirds, to hell with this nigga. And you know what? I believe he got he got children too. Because I remember um, like from watching his videos, I believe he got a daughter, some shit like that, a couple of children, seeds. Bro. You know, the Lord's going to bring judgment and, and hit you in the worst ways possible. And that's to all the scoffers, the mockers, like them guys and um, that, that, them, them, them bug outs calling on the name the Most High is, you know, they found new names for the Most High and the Son, Grandma, Grandma Cracker, Grandma Cracker, Kamar, some weird shit. <laughs> Yo, the Lord got them bugged out and, and Barramentos. That's what they actually call on the Lord and the Most High and the Son. Them niggas are going to die. They're going to die. Judgment is coming. The gates of mercy is, is shutting. The time for Jake repenting is coming to an end. The time for Jake repent, the chance and the opportunity to repent is coming to an end. And that's why the title of the video, Lord willing to be, we ain't going to be uploading videos to YouTube no more because the internet, especially YouTube, was one of the main biggest avenues used to push this truth the youtube and that goes back from when the apostles went up on youtube going back in the year 2007 you know pretty much when the floodgates for what we what you see now began but once that shut down yeah you got these little alternative sites and whatnot but you know what once the youtube shut down all these little sites is going with they're gonna be going too because major censorship is coming and that's when niggas are gonna be looking for answers and that's when we're gonna be quiet you know, that's when the, the men, the men of the Lord are going to be, be going to be quiet, not saying nothing. Every man for himself. You either got it or you don't. You either got that wisdom, knowledge, understanding or you don't. We ain't playing up here, bro. We are not playing up here. All right. Niggas going to come asking shit, asking, for, you know, we going to shun them. Like, yo, like the scripture say, the five foolish version. Listen, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. You know, what's, what's happening in the world? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, all right. You think you ain't see petty yet? <laughs> so it says, therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or pray for them. Don't even lift up a cry, no supplications, no prayers, no nothing, because harsh, crucial judgment is coming. Like some red, that's beautiful. I said that, and it lightened, it, it light, it lightened. Um, the sky lit up with lightning as soon as I said harsh, crucial judgment is coming. It flashed twice, bro. It flashed twice up in the sky. It's raining right here, right now in New York, where I'm at. So all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. As soon as I said that, the sky lit up twice. Twice, man. Dwadi Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Harsh, crucial judgment is coming. And we're going to see and witness it. And that cold spirit is going to be on us, bro. It's going to be on us and we ain't going to be, you know, literally crying and asking, Lord, Lord, please help this man or help his children. Fuck that. All right. And I mean that the spirit of just hardcore judgment coming down. 
that's the type of spirit I'm, I'm in, where we should be in. You know, especially towards the two thirds, because the hell with these niggas. Here it is, we devote and dedicate our entire lives and made sacrifices. Forget about fuck us. Forget about us. The Lord did all of that. Yahweh Shai did all that. You know, and they hate him first. Forget. I was about to say we did. Fuck, forget about what we did. The Lord did all them things first, man, and they hate him. So, so we hate him too. We hate them too. Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. But I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. Because what's coming? Jacob's trouble is coming. And yes, they will be crying. God, save me. Lord God, save me. Save my children. Lord God, Jesus, whoever the hell they're going to be calling them. And they're going to be like, yo, yo, what was the niggas, nigga? What's the name them Hebrews was calling them? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, all getting, stumbling on the name, getting it all messed up. And even if they get it right, the Lord still ain't going to hear them because scripture say, not everybody that said to me, Lord, Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, shall enter into the kingdom of the Most High. You see? So judgment is getting ready to go down and we ain't going to be on YouTube that much more longer because as of now, I believe, I believe 10 videos and Esau's targeting is one particular page, one of my YouTube pages. At least 10 videos is down right now within a span of um, about two weeks and, a, and some change. 10 videos just disappearing, disappearing, disappearing. I'm getting alerts. And I, I always think about this too. Like, how many videos of ours got taken down? We don't even know about it. Brothers push so much videos that you cannot keep record of all the videos you got up there. I know I, I, I personally cannot. So sometimes you might be scrolling through your thing and you don't even know that something is missed. You just won't know. You just won't know. You know? You just don't know. It's not like we keeping tabs of it. One, when one video is done, we on to the next. You know, we on to the next. It's, uh, you know, it's recorded in the heavens and the Lord sees the work. So, and our faith. So it's all good, Esau. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Starve these niggas out from the word. The Lord is going to starve them out from hearing the word, which is the famine of hearing the word. So that's them three scriptures that the brother got up there. Let me go to his page. It's like, yeah. Um, let me go to my history. Comments. Yep. And this is one of the scriptures I had put up. It says, I put perfect. Yeah, perfect. Jake is fulfilling their lot. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. So, hey, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Do what you got to do, Jake. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Perilous times, dangerous times. All right, great perils is coming to this earth. It's coming. It's coming. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. That's major, social media. When it says men, it's talking about mankind. Man, women, all right, humans in general. Lovers of their own selves. Conceited, all caught up in social media, likes. The amount of likes dictate their emotions. Nobody like they po they photos and they they post. They they heartbroken. They they get anxiety. They think they're not good enough. But when everybody liking they drink, especially these women, you know they 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 feel big headed and highly about themselves. They be they love themselves. Taking a thousand pictures and choosing two for for a particular uh, post. Men have become lovers of their own selves. All this cosmetic surgery you know just just overdoing it covetous boasters proud blasphemers the lord hate these things and disobedient to parents we see that a lot you know disobedient to their spiritual parents and their physical parents on this earth disobedient knuckleheads unthankful and unholy jake is definitely unthankful everything we got yahweh bashim yashai gave it to us give thanks every day for the lord and what he's done for you you know, Jake is very ungrateful, very unthankful. You know, you always wake up, the wadi how about shimmy out shot for everything. Yeah, we in hell, but you know what? We in hell with this knowledge. We in hell with this truth. And we we doing the most important job in the universe. And in all things in existence, we are doing the most important job. So you better be thankful for that, man. If you are you if you partaking in this truth, you got a high position, you got a high job, man. You got a very important job. Be thankful that you or even counted worthy to be called for to doing this. I, I that's how I think. That's what I think about. You know, fuck life. We hate life. We hate. We hate. We hate it. We hate it here in Babylon. The only thing I'm thankful for is this truth, man. 
You know, and then the scriptures say about um told Lord told Peter um they that forsaken all these things shall receive a hundredfold to follow me. You know, this is priority. And be thankful that you know that you're not a bug out like this nigga on the screen right here. Be thankful. Be thankful. Even even if things ain't going your way, be thankful. You know, Paul said it, you know, Pastor Paul, I know how to be content in the things that he go through, the things that he got. You know? It's all good. Things are gonna be alright. After shit hit the fan, things are gonna be alright. We ain't gonna be suffering for that much more longer. So it said, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, in it um incontinent fierce despisers of those that are good. Alright, and this guy fit the bill among many other individuals who fit this particular bill and just the scripture and just unworthy. It says traitors, heady, he um, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high. You know, the lovers of pleasure. What's pleasure? Pleasure comes by the way of the flesh. They love to fulfill the lust of the flesh. No filter, no filter whatsoever, no restraint, no restrictions, nothing. They just go on with it. Jake think it, they think it and they open a big ass mouth and say it. Jake think it and they practice it. They think it and they do it. That's why this world's so fucking wicked, because Jake don't got no restraint. They got no self-control over themselves, no discipline. Some come to their mind, they do it. Some come to their mind, they think it. They say it and, and just, just fulfill it. And then that's when sin is sin is, that's when sin goes down. Sin. You know? So it says, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, for such turn away. And that's a lot of Jake, especially those that fall out this truth. And another one I put up, 2 Peter 3, verse 3 to 4. Knowing this verse, that they shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. It goes into it even more when you read Second Peter's the third chapter. Just as in the days of Noah, where people were gonna be talking shit, scoffing, mocking, you know, just being being niggas and niggerettes until the day that the flood comes, until the day that the Lord sends his wrath. Until the day that Lord, yo, I'm telling, hey, bro, I was gonna say I'm telling you, but I'm not telling you nothing. Yeah, I'm not telling you nothing. You don't already know, but the time is coming where we will not be uploading on YouTube because we just will, we just can't. You're gonna try. You may just open your YouTube page and see that monkey with the wrench and the in the tool bag, talking about, oops. <laughs> Jake is gonna panic. They're gonna be looking for videos, and all they're gonna be seeing is, oops, having panic attacks, anxiety attacks. Pressing, pressing the refresh button over and over and over again and it's just not gonna work and then jake is gonna sit there with a deep depression and deep sigh and then thinking for a hot minute like yo what, what if this is really it yeah it is really it it is really it you know they ain't gonna try to you know go into their dusty bible that's stuck open on psalms 131 um 23rd song when i say dusty i mean as far as collecting dust you know, trying to break things down, but they can't. Looking for answers, but they don't know where to look. It's going to be like scribble scrabble. You know? Them words ain't going to make sense to you. Because that's why scriptures say, Wisdom and knowledge, Isaiah 33 and 6, shall be the stability of thy times. All right? Wisdom and knowledge. Understanding of the Holy Scripture is going to keep you stable-minded in the time to come. And yes, indeed, we are approaching those times. Dude, or dude's talking about, why y'all niggas don't get money? Nigga, fuck money. First of all, we got money to live and survive. What do you, you know? So I, I, we don't. I don't even entertain those arguments. But I'm just saying, you know, this money that you call and you praise is gonna fucking fail. The stock markets are gonna crash, and once the stock market crashes, so does your dollar. All right, that asset, that so-called asset you call money, is gonna fucking fail. The nations that's using the petrodollar, meaning they're using the U.S. dollar as the reserve. To trade in oil They not gonna need that dollar Cause they're, they're doing their own thing Look at what Babylon is doing To to these um And look at what Babylon is doing Back in the small hats Hold on one second I don't want this to Override my voice Now look at what Babylon How they're back in the small hats The scriptures say The least of the flocks Are drawing them out People are starting to see Their true colors Information is coming out on these devils true intention Which we bring, we've been bringing out the information But the world is now seeing it You see 
That's why prophecy, prophets, to be prophets, to prophesy, say before. So even us saying the things before, like things like Esau is going to be revealed and be saying things about Esau, Edom and revealing him, his wicked ass. We've been saying it. So now the rest of the, we've been saying that the world's about to see your, your sins and discover your secret parts. Like the scriptures say that. And now the world is seeing it. That's why they're talking about it. Because the prophet said that was going to happen through the scriptures. I made Esau bear. I've covered his, his hidden parts. How the hidden things that Esau searched out and all that, man. So we in that time, man. This, this place is going to crash. Jake is going to panic. Jake is going to take the mark of the beast. This nigga going to get, he going to get chipped up. All right. To save his family. Since we're a fucking laughing stock. He's going to get chipped up. He's going to get chipped up. The Lord is not going to keep him from the hour of temptation because he misused the, the messengers, the prophets. Like I said, in Chronicles, I, I believe it's up in this comment section, so I'm going to get it. Lord willing. You know, serious, perilous times are coming. We are we are not going to be able to be pushing this information. And that's how, that's why you heard Apostle Gobar at the end of the video. That's exactly what he was going into. That's exactly what he said. That's exactly what he was going into um, through the spirit. You know, time is coming. We just got to keep doing what we're doing for now until the Lord says otherwise. It's the thing about patience. So, let me just jump around. May get all of them or may not. I'm not sure, but let me see. Proverbs 17, 28. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. When a fool shuts his mouth, even he's wise. Like you can, you know this guy. This like guy's a fool. But as long as he, he's quiet, he's saying shit. He's kind of wise because his folly is not being spewed out of his mouth. You know, his folly is not being spewed out of his mouth. And he that shutteth his lip is esteemed as a man of understanding, because you got two ears for a reason and one mouth. Listen more than you speak. All right, There's, we don't have two mouths and one ears. You know, Jake just want to always talk, say what they got to say. You know, don't don't know how to listen, but it's all right. The time is coming. Ezekiel 9 and 5. And to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. The angel is not going to have no pity. Sirach 39 tells you that their spirit is created for vengeance. They're not going to have pity on that. You think they care about you, what you look like? You think they care if you are a child? If you, you the spirits see spirits, they see the spirit that's lingering within you. They, they don't give a shit if you are a one year old. You're gonna get judged. That's why the scripture says, "Slay ugly, old and young, maids and little children," you know, and so on and so forth. But come not any man to have the mark. The mark is the uh, the word thawa in Hebrew, which means exemption from judgment. Because in in these men that's gonna be exempted from judgment, and their spirits there. Part of the first fruits, the elect, the 144,000 since the beginning. So the angels are gonna be like, nah, that, those are my brothers, they good. <laughs> and then and pass right over him and jump to a jump to an old lady, jump to an old man, jump to a, a little baby, jump to a woman, pregnant woman, whatever. This nigga right here. Because the angels they see a spirit. They know who you are in the spirit. And if you ain't part of the Lord's elect, it's off with you. So go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spin, neither have ye pity. Ain't gonna say, oh, a cute baby with a binky in his mouth. Let me let me leave him alone. Nope. Not at all. Slay. Slay. And in, in whatever form of judgment that's gonna come, that's it. No pity. See, the flesh makes you have pity. You know, like, oh, it's just a little kid. Well, you know, what did that kid do in their past life? Like, I, I sent the, uh, some images that um somebody at my job had showed me. A Jake on my jaw is showing me some some gruesome some gruesome shit, you know. But you know I could stomach it, so I was like, yo, let me see. You know, you know, he showed me. I was like, what's that? And I look, and I was like, oh shit. And he slid the screen over. I was like, oh shit. So what happened was it was a, it was an image. It was a woman. She got shot in her uh, in her box. All right, it was a bullet wound. She got shot multiple. She got hit multiple times, and she got shot in her box. You see a bullet hole in her box. All right. And I, I could just assume that she probably committed trespass against her husband. So the man also caught judgment on her son. You know, and then her son looked like a, a bowl of spaghetti. His face opened up like Swiss cheese with a machete. You know, and I was like, damn, that's some gruesome shit. 
But that was a spurs created for vengeance. You know, some real gruesome shit. You know, brothers that, you know, I shared it with y'all know what I'm talking about. That's some real gruesome shit. You know? Whoever uh, perished being innocent, like the scriptures tell us. Whoever perished being innocent, but the, the flesh would be like, nah, that ain't right. That's, that's messed up, you know? But we don't know what these spirits do in their past life, man. We don't know. We don't even know what we did in our past life to offend the Lord. That's why the scripture says, seeing that you fell away, seek, um, and now you come back, seek him 10 times more because we don't know what we did. You know, we don't know what we did. So walk on eggshells in this truth, man. You know, none of us made it yet. Walk on uh, um, eggshells in this truth. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Fear Yahweh Bashim Yahshua because the judgment that's coming is going to be fed. And it's gonna, they're going to know Yahweh Shah did it. Like the heathens used to call the Lord Allah Shadia. You know, Allah Shadia. Um, Allah power Shadia. Uh, what is it? Demon. Demon like power. Terrible power. So, Proverbs 1, Proverbs 1, 22, on down. Yeah, the whole his brother put it all the way down. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? How long are you going to love simplicity? How long are you going to love being simple? You, you think he's funny? You think he's funny talking about looking look, you know, look like a 70s gang, you know? Earth, wind, and fire. We heard that before. Niggas looking like earth, wind, and fire, which we don't really dress like that. But it still ain't even that funny, right? Still ain't even that funny But Jake likes simplicity They like to laugh And entertain Like like little children Which they are little children You know That's why they gonna, Them two thirds They gonna come back As low willing I say our Little children Low willing our As being part of The hopeful elect How long you simple ones Will you love simplicity And the scorners delight In their scorning And fools hate knowledge So he's delighted In his scorning He must have He turned his video off And felt accomplished and like you know, being a, being a lover, a lover of himself. Let me see. Let me see the feedback I get from this. I'll forget his name, his YouTube page. Else, I probably would. I could ask Yashalom, but I, I didn't really care too much to even do all that. But to go to his comment section, and you could, you, I know, I guarantee this folly and scorning and scoffing and laughing, especially from the nigga woman, the black woman, and women in general, laughing. But I right, keep fucking laughing. Keep on laughing. <laughs> Cause guess what? We gonna be laughing soon. We gonna be laughing soon You brothers We gonna be laughing soon And the scriptures mean that When it say it Like it's gonna say it down there We gonna be laughing soon He's laughing now At his corny ass joke We gonna laugh At the most high Sense of humor <laughs> You know So it says Turn you at my reproof Behold I will pour out My spirit unto you I will make known My words unto you Because I have called And you refuse See he, I, he do so I see them Israelites And I behold my peace I'm gonna say what I gotta say what a perfect time to open your mouth. What a perfect time. What a perfect time. <laughs> so it says, I'll, um, because I've called and you refused. Told him I see the Israelites. But he obviously he's seen, he, he got marked. He marked for death. All right. Steven, Steven, Stigall, Steven Seagal um, style. That, that old movie from the 90s. I've stretched out my hand and no man regarded. And the Lord chose us, he chose us to do that because people, they purposely going, Lord want to see if you're going to be a, a respected person, a, a person who judged the outward appearance. So that's why the scripture said that in James about those who have respect to the man that's dressed up in godly apparel, the, the rings and looking shiny and flashy and fancy and eloquent and uniformed and, you know, buildings and, and, and organizations. Yeah, that's what Jake liked to see. But Yahweh Shad ain't coming at that. He he he's, he came with the lowly. He came to the lowly, to the sinners, so that they could repent. You know, the average people, the average, like 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 the world would say, the average hood, the, the, the hoodlums and shit. You know, because brothers come from all walks of life that you don't even know about, and, and made a whole 180, walking back to Yahweh Shad and not going forward to this wicked ass society. They they made a whole 180 and say nope, shit going it's just too deep, it's too dark. The more I go, the darker it gets. Let me go back to the light. You know? So anyway, it says, But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. The counsel of the Lord is with his prophets. The mouthpiece are the prophets. So verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And the Lord is going to do that using his prophets. Brothers are going to laugh. Laugh. All right? That laugh. Brothers are going to laugh, man. I pray and hope I'm part of that number. I'm part of that elect. I'm the Lord's 
chosen one of his men. He said, I'm going to laugh. You know, ultimately for deliverance, but guess what? I'm going to laugh. And I'm going to mock. You know, I'm going to mock. Whatever judgment they going through, you're going to mock at it. You're going to make up, you're going to make some jokes, crack jokes, cut ass, and just laugh. You know? This nigga was to get mauled by a pack of dogs. I'm like, hey, I'm going to laugh and say, oh, that nigga, they, I'm like, nigga, they must like dark meat, nigga. <laughs> you know, I'm going to mock. You know, at their calamity, laugh at their calamity. And that's what the Lord gonna do. But judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. All right. Second Corinthians four and four, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel, Hamashiach Yahweh our Lord, who is the image of the Most High, shall shine unto them. And that's why the scriptures say He blinded them in Isaiah the sixth chapter, least they be converted and healed, least they see. And be and hear and be converted and be healed, but the Lord don't want them, so it's all right, it's all good. But see, uh, well, I quoted this earlier when the Lord said that to Peter, but um, the brother didn't put the um, he didn't put the actual verse. Next time, you know, future reference, just put the whole verse. If it's it's a simple copy and paste for edification's sake, put the whole verse and then put the scripture. It says, but seek first. The kingdom of the Most High and His righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Absolutely. Ecclesiastes 21 and 14. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel and will hold no knowledge as long as he liveth. And that's heavy right there. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel because we're all vessels. All right. The Lord have poured his spirit into us as vessels. And for a fool, they're not going to be able to hold what was being poured into that vessel. You know, in other words, it's like you say something to a person, it goes in one ear and out the next. You pour in, and that's why you got to be careful, man. Like, to hell with these people in the world, because they're a waste of energy. You know, last night, beautiful night with some of the Akim. You know, we were just hanging, you know, just hanging and just building spiritually and talking and whatnot. You know, we was talking and just going into just be careful how you just waste, you know, who you give your, your, your all your energy and time to. Because a lot of these people are broken vessels. They just going to... Make you feel drained You know They're gonna make you feel drained Because here it is You pouring into them And There's a crack And leak in their vessel And then it's like Damn Why you can't You know you, also, you know, Why you can't get it there, They just leaking All that information And knowledge and wisdom And it's like why You wondering Why you feel drained You know These people Are just a waste of time We too close to the end To be having to Deal and deal with these people And keep repeating ourselves How long is the Lord Gonna keep on repeating itself That's why the famine Of the word is coming Lord ain't just gonna keep on repeating his soul. Like we hate repeating ourselves. But that's part of prophecy. It's part of being a prophet. You gotta repeat yourself, but you get frustrated with Jake not getting it and just like feel like you're repeating yourself over and over. But it's all right. You know, it's our job. We just gotta maintain and keep on doing it. You know, but be careful who you always pouring your spirit and energy out into, man, because these people these people ain't shit. Alright? They broken vessel and they ain't holding no knowledge. A person like that is going to drain your energy. Second Chronicles 36 and 16. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words. Like this dude mocking right there. And they despised his words among many other people. And misused his prophets. Until the wrath of the Lord. Yahweh arose against his people. Till there was no remedy. Oh praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and a few brothers have said that. All, all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I gotta say that too. All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Call Holo Imla Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? So, the Lord's gonna send that wrath, and there's gonna be no remedy, no night nurse for these people. They're just gonna have to, they just gonna have to get it. All right? Judgment season made this, may this ninja be next. Absolutely, bro. Feel you in that one. May this nigga be next, and he may very well be next. And I, and I read this earlier. Matthew 12, 36, by saying to you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So your words are either going to justify you in the day of wrath, or it's going to condemn you in the day of wrath. He's, his words condemned him. And that's just what Jake do. You know? That's, what, that's just what Jake do. Let me just scroll through real quick, and I'm going to get ready to end it.
Jeremiah 4 and 22, for my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are sad as children, they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah. Broken vessel. It's a good one. John 15, 22, they're all good, but I'm just jumping around. If I had not come, John 15, 22, through 23. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that he that hateth me hateth my father also. Point blank period. The Lord came. Now they have no cloak, no covering for their sin. So now they know. That's why this word had to go out. That's why we are commanded to prophesy so that Jake can either hear and take heed or forbear and just not take heed and be a nigga, a niggerette. You did your part, their blood is off your hands, and that's that. But if they hate you, they hate Yahweh and they hate the Father. And the Father's going to judge them, and then bring him back, but he's going to judge them. going to judge them harshly in this coming perilous times ahead of us. And we are in that time. We are in that time. You know? We are in that time. I read these already. First Corinthians one twenty one. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It says, "It pleased the Heavenly Father." It says, "God, by the foolishness of preaching, to save them that believe, because faith and works. Preaching is works, and why you preach? Because you believe. All right, you believe." It said an apocryphal um about their faith. Uh, I'll go. Um, Salakia yeah. Slip my mind real quick But they shall be saved By you know By the works In which they have believed Something along those lines Oh Oh And when dudes like this Get smoked They want us to feel sorry for him Nope Brothers gonna make videos About him And say see The Lord got him And that's gonna be that <laughs> Like everybody else. I'm going to end it here. Ezekiel 33, 33. And when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. When will come to pass the prophecies? Then they gonna know as a prophet been among them. Yo, them is like dudes was talking about this, son. Yo, they said this was gonna happen, son. Yo, they said the white man was the devil, son. Yup. Then you gonna know as a prophet among you. Yo, they said the mark of the beast was the chip, son. Yup. They said you ain't gonna be able to buy and sell without the chip, son. Yup. Romans 11 and 7. What then? What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded, because the Lord did not want them to see the light. So I'm ending here. I pray and hope to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakaikwadash that this was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Till next time I say Shalom to the Lord's elect. Shalom.